Hello guys, how are we doing people? Phil Kent here, 100 day blitz, Facebook live video on day 55. So I'm going to give it a two minute window for those just to give a chance to jump on. And we're counting about two minutes, it's got the, got the timer in the corner on the live screen. Give about two minutes just to give people a chance to get on. If you don't know what I'm doing, started a 100 day blitz uh, at the start of October. And one of the things I said I would do is a Facebook live video uh, once a day, or just about every day as much as I could. How are you doing, Dan? How are you doing, Salvador? I'm going to give you a, jump along about a two minute window uh, just to see <clears throat> see what's to jump on. So let me know where you are. Jump in and say hi. It's just after 2 p.m. here in the UK. How are you doing, Raul? Nice and nice cold day in the UK. Nothing, nothing new there. How are you doing, Kim? So I normally give about a two-minute window. So I'll just count up to about two minutes from the start, and then uh, then I'll uh, then I'll get going on today's uh, today's subject. I normally pick up on a post that I did the day before. And then sort of chat about it, see if we get any feedback. And sometimes we stay on topic, and sometimes we go off topic. You never know. <clears throat> like I said, so those who don't know what I'm doing, I started a hundred day blitz, set myself various goals and targets, and uh, one of those things was to do a Facebook live video every day. And on day fifty five, I've just missed one day when I was away for the weekend with the wife and I didn't do it that weekend. I did it on the Saturday but not the Sunday. So, so far I've done fifty four out of fifty five. So I'm pretty good going. I might have to do a double up one day. So I normally pick up on a post from the day before. That's what I normally do. It's the usual sort of way I do it. And I use that as the sort of subject to be live and sort of take it from there. And the post for today or the subject of the day is the importance of time management. It's, it's, it's a huge thing online and it's something that does need to be controlled, you know, and it's for various reasons because the way I look at it is, is many of us that come online have busy lives in sort of one way or another. You've got working mums, you've got working dads, you've got uh, those that are a full time job. Um, you know, they might have a part-time job, they might have a second income, but they're, they're doing a second job. There's all, there's all sorts, you know, or there's, you know, there's examples of like my, myself. I'm a full-time carer at home with my wife who's disabled. So, you know, when it comes down to time availability online, then, you know, our time is, is limited and it's limited for various reasons and for everybody. So when you come online, and you're looking to build your business or grow grow your business online and you've got sort of limited time as most of us have to a certain extent then time management for that reason is is critical because you, know, you can lose so much time sort of in the blink of an eye you know as, as, as i say you really you really can you can lose time so quickly if you're not focused and you, and you haven't got that time management in place you know if, if you if you get online and you want to start sort of building your business and growing your business or doing your marketing whatever you're doing and then you start to sort of scroll down Facebook newsfeed first to see what everybody else is up to. Well, what do you know? Sort of two hours later, you're still scrolling down Facebook newsfeed, reading stories, watching videos, and things like that. And you've lost all that valuable time that should have been your time for growing your business. You know, so you always sort of think that, you know, if you're going to do these things, make sure you've dedicated your uh, time first to actively growing your business, you know, because I said I, I use my example all the time because when people say to me, I don't have the time, the way I look at it is they don't know what it is. They really don't know what it is to, to not to be short on time, you know, not when they sort of sort of state it and things like that, because I'm, like I said, I'm a full time care at home for my wife. So I've got to do everything indoors and outdoors of the home and everything in, inside of the home talking from cooking, cleaning the whole lot, to taking care of my wife's needs. So my time, my day sort of starts around about five to between, between 5 a.m. and 5.30 a.m. every single day, every single day. You know, that's the time it sort of first starts to get my wife up and give her medication for the day and things like that. And then I have to do all the sort of household duties indoors, outdoors and everything else. So, you know, I know what it's like to be sort of time restricted, you know, so that is where 
and time management has to be as as its highest and for me it is because i make sure it is it's, you know i've got myself a set daily routine and i stick to it and that's it nothing gets in the way you know nothing distracts me focus and you've got to resist all the temptation that comes your way because i'm just like everybody else online i'm sure that you get offered to take a look at stuff you know i get don't know how many messages are on Facebook and I removed Facebook Messenger from my phone because it used to drive me nuts and <laughs> with all the pings and the notifications coming through, you know, and I cannot have that distraction going on. It, 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 Facebook Messenger is a distraction, period. It is. So I removed it from the phone and I do answer most of the messages that come in on Facebook Messenger on, online sort of thing. Um, on the browser, but I, I then target that time. I sort of allocate a section of that time to where I'll go through the message and answer any messages that are come, coming through and things like that. So again, that's where the time management comes into place there because I've got my daily set routine and nothing distracts it. And the amount of messages you'll get from somebody saying, hey, Phil, have you seen this XX program? Take a look at this quick video. It's only three minutes long. No. And I say to people, no, nope, I will not look at it. I, I won't even click on the link. I won't even look at it. Not even if it's a YouTube video. Yeah, not even if it's just a company presentation video that's two minutes long. And that is where you have to be because I will not allow any distraction to get in my way, period. It's, it's a mindset thing. You've got to have that positive mindset thing. And if I don't want to look at something, then I don't. It's as simple as that. And I'm, at the moment, I'm completely focused on growing my Facebook account, growing my engagement, and I've got my primary focuses in place at the moment and nothing else takes precedent over that. And that's where you have to be, especially when you've got restricted time, when you've got that um, you know, short space of time windows that we all have, you know, you've got to know that this is what I'm gonna be doing in this amount of time, this is what I'm gonna be doing. And you have to always ask yourself, you know, you've got to just dedicate what time you have to actively growing your business. This is what you're doing, actively growing your business. So if you're posting on Facebook, if you're answering comments on posts, yes, it is. That's engagement. That's building relationships, that's social engagement. Not aimlessly scrolling through Facebook, not aimlessly watching another video. Okay. And if you are looking to grow your business online, then you know you should be able to have, I say that most of us should be able to dedicate at least two hours a day. I find at least two hours a day. So if I can find it in my schedule from early hours in the morning till late, then I'm sure other people can. You know, you've got to be able to dedicate at least two hours a day. And when you get people to sort of turn around and say, well, you know, I don't think I have two hours a day, then the answer to that is make the time. So end of, you know, that is just a, that's the wrong mindset. It's a, it's a negative mindset. You know, if you don't think you have two hours a day to grow your business online, then you, you need to make the time, go to bed an hour later, get up an hour earlier, you know, sacrifice a TV program, whatever it is, you've got to, you've got to be able to make those sacrifices and have the willingness to make those sacrifices to grow your business. Otherwise, guess what? It's not going to grow. It's as simple as that. It's, it's, you're not going to get the results. You get out what you put in and you know, that's, and that's what it is. So I say, we'll create a structure, you know, create a routine. If need be, write it down. You know what sort of time space you have available, okay? You know what sort of time space you have available. So you know you might have, say, an hour in the morning, a half an hour in the morning. You might have an hour or two in the evening, two hours in the evening. So write down, say, right, in the morning, I'm going to do this. Yeah, in the afternoon or that evening slot, I'm going to do this. And write down these things. I'm going to do a YouTube video. I'm going to do a Facebook Live. I'm going to post an ad or whatever it may be. Just give me some examples and do those and do those before you do anything else because if you don't do these sort of tasks and things that you need to do that are going to be actively working towards growing your business if you don't do them first then distractions will come in the way and if you've got a primary business that you are looking to grow and that should be your number one focus and nothing should distract you from that you know don't look at anything else you know unless you are in the stage where you are looking to add something else because otherwise you will get sidetracked there's some there's somebody who say to you take a look at this three minute video it's only three minutes yeah take a quick look see what you think you click on that you go and have a look and then what happens the next thing you landed on youtube you know you've seen the three minute video you've got all these other 
recommended videos next what happens boom you go and look at something else if there's a program that's not piqued your interest out of nothing then you're going to start looking for reviews next thing you know hour two hours gone yeah all because you allowed yourself to become distracted you allowed yourself to lose focus that's what caused that that's what caused that break in your time management focus and that's what it comes down to you know so you know i've <clears throat> i've set myself a good example by actively growing my facebook account since the sort of start of september is when it initially started i had such a such a dead facebook account for those who didn't know prior to september i had nothing i was lucky if i had one comment on a post let alone one like or anything else you know it was completely dead so i decided just to take massive action straight away you know and did a huge removal of my friends started re-adding them i thought this is my primary focus now i want to regrow my facebook account get the get some engagement back that i see others get in and i made that my primary focus and let nothing nothing distract it and then after the first month because the results were going quite well i then decided so you, you know what you know i'm gonna gonna push myself even further i was away in portugal when i decided it i was away in portugal towards the end of september and i said I didn't want to be in sort of holiday mode, vacation mode when I came back. So I decided before I came back that I was going to set myself a 100 day challenge, which would take me right through to mid January. And I thought, right, what are these things I'm going to do? I wrote myself down some targets for me, Facebook friends and targets for Instagram, Facebook live video, which I wasn't doing much of, made sure that I wanted to step out of the comfort zone, always add something that you don't normally do and set these targets and it makes you self accountable and this is what i did i allocated the time slot which is this time of day mainly because my wife normally has a lay down in the afternoon has a little sleep so i thought this is the best time for me to come on here and do my facebook lives and i'll start to the sort of same time and again it's just the engagement as a lot of you may have seen the, the results that i've gained from growing my facebook friend account growing the engagement etc is, is a result of me taking massive action from September and October onwards and sticking to it, becoming focused on it. I've not had to sit here 12, 24 hours a day like some people seem to, you know, because I, I simply do not have the time to do that. I've got you know, too much going on indoors and around the home and things like that. So I'm not able to do it. So, but what I do do is I maximize the most of the time that I do have and I maximize that to this fullest advantage so i'm getting the maximum results from the short time that i have and that's what people need to be doing your time your time is precious too you know make the most of it make the most of your the time that you have do not become distracted do not lose focus write down what you got to do and you know make sure that you allow yourself at least two hours a day it's not a lot to ask and most of you probably have more than that because most of you're probably on Facebook and things like that, and you're losing so much precious time by scrolling down news feeds, by watching videos, by becoming extracted, by you know, taking a look at the next shiny object that someone's posted you about to have a look at this, the latest ICO, the latest Bitcoin offering, the latest mining program, and you're going around in circles, you know, and then you've got to just ask yourself, well, what have you done over the last two or three hours? What activity have you done that's gone towards actively actively growing your business and the answer will probably be none because you you've been wasting too much time scrolling down the news feeds and you know and uh watching videos and things like that you know i spend most of my focus on my timeline when it comes to my facebook sort of time slot you know because i act i work on engaging on my posts interacting with the comments on my posts and i try and also go around and do some other comments on other people's posts as well but my primary focus is on my timeline my posts and my engagement that's where i need to be answering any questions that come in but then i separate myself and then i go away and do other activities like working on the instagram which has been a target of mine as well and growing that slowly and getting the followers up on that so it's a, it's all allocated that's just what you need to do and it just comes down to having a simple simple daily routine guys that's all you need you know write it down create yourself a daily routine have a daily consistent action plan and stick to it you know it's not rocket science it's just a case of like anything else in life create yourself this daily routine and stick to it okay so i mean that's that's what the post was about yesterday time management issues not enough people do it guys you know and it is effective and it's it's just a case of 
allocating a, a giving yourself a routine you know it really is because you know my case is not different to anybody else's but everyone's circumstances are different you know you, whatever else they've got working mum you've got mums that you know have to take the kids to school and maybe go out and do the shopping and come back you know and they might have to do a, some sort of lunchtime run but then nine times out of ten they've got to go back out in the afternoon and pick the kids up and school run and then have them come home and do the lunches and things like that and then get the dinner ready and you know obviously so we've all got busy lives you know and the, the guy some of the men I, they might be working from sort of early in the morning till late in the evening but again you know everybody has their own time restrictions so you everybody's only got that sort of limited sort of time which they can sort of come online to grow the business but dedicate yourself at least two hours a day everybody can do it make that time even if it's an hour in the morning and an hour in the evening just dedicate that two hours a day write yourself down a routine get yourself a daily consistent action plan of what you can do in those two hours and make sure that what you do with that time are things that are going towards actively growing your business that's that's what you need to be doing actively and if you dedicate and focus them solid two hours on actively growing your business online your results will just increase tenfold they, they have to it's, it's as simple as that you know it's because that's where you make your primary focus instead of losing that time elsewhere losing that time scrolling down facebook losing that time on youtube watching videos that you may have seen before a few times already or watching stuff that you wouldn't normally because you've allowed yourself to become distracted you've allowed yourself to lose focus and that's what it comes down to so that's what you need to do guys that's why that's what was the post yesterday uh, not many comments coming today it's the weekend i think people are a bit more chilled out um you've got to keep your business head on that's what i say <laughs> at all time so that's me sort of post some thoughts for the day and i say we've had a few come in a few watches not people not say much which is fine but i hope you got some value from that i hope that helps um as i haven't got many comments on i'll probably wrap it up a little bit earlier because it normally goes on nearly half an hour so whatever you're doing i hope you're having a great weekend guys i'm in the middle of a 100 day blitz this is facebook live video day number 55 i will be doing one again tomorrow around about the same time it's normally around about this sort of time slightly earlier uh around about sort of 2 p.m uk time which whatever time that is for you now so thanks for watching guys i hope you gained some value from that um check out my timeline check out the posts i will happily welcome any feedback and i'll, I'll get back to all comments and I do have a section of my own time where I'll go through and answer as many messages as I can as well. So whatever you do, have a great day, have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next video. Cheers now, guys. Take care.